Oh, that's awfully nice of you considering yourself ticked off. You nearly got both of us killed walking back into Harris's place. It's after I made a deal with the devil to get you out. What kind of a fool does that? The kind that was trying to save your life. And now, I think I'm starting to have second thoughts. Well, your first thought should be to get warm. Let's get you by the fire. Okay. Hey, you knew that you didn't have the formula for Harris. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted you out of the way and safe before I told him that there was no cure. And there you were, just waltzing back in. Hey, I couldn't leave you. What were you thinking, taking the chance like that? I'd take it again, and I wouldn't regret it. You're out of your mind. Well, if I am, it's for all the right reasons. I... I couldn't just walk away and let you die. Okay? And now my reward is freezing to death. Why can't I get warm? Let's get these clothes off you. Come on. My fingers can't move. I'll do it. Hold still. There. Huh? Getting better already, right? So what's this, uh... Couldn't walk away from me? Why is that? Because... we've gotten so close. Yeah, like we were the only two people that matter. And if I told you that... I felt the exact same way... that no one in this world matters to me more than you... And if it were true... If it were true, then what? I would tell you that... What I wanted Ian, to tell you for so I long... I have to tell you, I... I... Be careful what you say to a man who's falling in love with you. I you don't think I feel the same way about you. You don't think that I love you. Oh. Oh, God. Well, don't let this be a dream, please. Oh. Oh, God. It's... It's... It's not a dream. Finally. It's not just a dream. God, I've wanted you for so long. Oh, just like this. From the day I met you. Really? Uh huh. Mm. That's why I was leaving town. So I wanted more. And Knowing that I'd never then. Oh, God. We I lied to myself for so long. I, I told myself it was all just about work. We were together so much, growing stronger. It was all just work. Uh huh. And now? Now. Oh, I want to be with you. I've known it since Christmas Eve. I think I've known it longer than that when we were kidnapped and thrown together. Eve. But I just tried so hard to fight those feelings. Eve. Oh, and now. I think we were meant to be together. Like, we had no other choice but to fall in love. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Ian, make love to me. Oh. No. What? Why? I've never wanted anyone more in my life. But we can't do this. I lost my mind. This is what I wanted. To have you with me. To hold you. To make love to you and get lost in you. And now... Why do we have to stop? Because I love you. And one moment in time couldn't nearly be enough. I... I don't understand. I don't just want you for one night. I want you for always. Do you remember when I took that poison? And I was just laying there, and I heard your voice, and I saw your face through whatever my brain was drowning in. And I thought, you know what, Ian? If you were to die now, 
be all right. Because you're in her arms. And I realize that when that day comes, be it today or tomorrow or, God willing, a hundred years from now, there's no place I'd rather be. You understand? I think so. I want us to have a life together. Some place where it would fill our souls. Tiny little rugrats that look like you running around. <sighs> Could you stand it, Lambert? A whole lifetime of our kind of man. You take my breath away with your blurney. No, 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 no. Every word is true. I want us to grow old together and still love each other. And we will, I know it. I saw it from the first moment I met you. And I know it now. It's fate or destiny or whatever you want to call it. We need to live this out, Eve. How can you be so sure? After everything we've been through, how can you not be? Can you tell me that after everything we've been through, you, you don't feel the way I do? Have I misread you that completely? No. No. I feel exactly the same way you do. I want to grow old together, too. But there's someone I need to talk to. Kevin. Where do I even begin? Why don't we just take off and disappear and live our lives on a nice, warm, tropical island? Everyone thinks we're dead anyway, and who would know the difference? We would. I owe Kevin at least that much. Of course you do. You know, in spite of everything, he's... He is my husband, and I... There's a part of me that still loves him. I know. I mean, it's not like us. I realized that over the last few weeks. I have never felt this way about anyone. It's like I come first with you. First and last, you're everything to me. I gotta be honest with you. It's pretty scary feeling so connected to someone else. It's a good fit. I've never known what it's like to sacrifice myself so completely for someone else and not feel like it's a sacrifice at all. You know? And I know that you would do the same thing for me. Whenever you need it. That's why I can't walk away from this. I can't let you go. I won't let you. Oh, my God. What if it's Harris's man? Hello? Mr. Sheriff, you folks okay? Actually, we're not. Come on in. This cabin doesn't get used very much. We were kidnapped. Okay, we'll tell you all about it on the way to Port Charles. Do you know how to get there? Of course I do. Okay, well, we're just gonna close up this place. We'll be right out. I'll wait outside. It looks like I tell Kevin tonight. We'll return these later. This place doesn't quite seem so warm anymore, does it? You ready? As I'll ever be. I'll never forget this place. Yeah. Gonna miss it too. We have the rest of our lives to tell each other how in love we are. I do love you. Eve. 